As we celebrate Holy Week, I talked to the Beauty of Faith author Jem Sullivan about how one artist portrayed Jesus' sacrifice. Jem, thank you for joining us. You're welcome, Lauren. Let's take a look at Matthias Grunewald's 16th century painting, The Small Crucifixion. This is an image that we see all the time, a very sacred and familiar image to most Catholics. What's different about this interpretation? This painting, Lauren, is a visual homily on the sacred event we will celebrate on Good Friday, and perhaps it is one of the most powerful, moving images of our Lord's crucifixion ever painted, because Grunewald draws us into the intense physical suffering that Jesus endured for our sake. The full horror of a crucifixion. We see Jesus' bruised and scourged body hanging from the cross. And there's something more than just the weight of his body. It is the weight of sinful humanity, bending the cross beams downward to the earth. Jesus' clothes are tattered. His head bleeds from the crown of thorns uh, pressed into his forehead. But it's the nails in his hands and feet and his fingers reaching out to heaven in anguish that really captures our eyes. How does Grunewald depict his own faith in this painting? You know, Jesus was innocent, and yet he endured the humiliation of the cross. When Grunewald painted this image, it was for a, originally for a hospital chapel. And so it, this is an image of consolation, so that the, uh, the patients could see their physical suffering somehow united with Jesus' suffering, that they were not alone in their suffering, that God himself in Jesus was suffering with them, and for them. Who else is in this painting? We see three people, one kneeling. Yes, at the foot of the cross stands Mary, the mother of Jesus, uh, Mary Magdalene, and Saint John. And really their viewpoint is meant to be our viewpoint as we stand before the cross on Good Friday in a few days and, and really draw strength from Jesus' suffering and death which was poured out for our salvation. How does this painting prepare us for the resurrection. And we can see this at the National Gallery of Art. What are your thoughts on that? You know, this image really draws us into the full horror of the crucifixion, but it's also to remind us that the full price of our redemption was nothing less than the blood that Jesus poured out, out of love for us. And so it's really the fullness of divine, incarnate, crucified love uh, that is poured out on the world, poured out for you and for me and for all of us. Uh, and that is the great gift, really, of these holy days ahead of us. Jem Sullivan, thank you so much, author of The Beauty of Faith. Thank you so much, Lauren.